Uh, this is Mark with the Resistance Barbell Club. This is Amalia. Uh, we're going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to use the Nautilus glute drive. It's a simple piece of equipment, but it's very effective. Amalia, what would be the first thing that you would do if you walk up to this machine? So when I walk up to this machine, I would probably think, what the heck, how am I supposed to use this? And right. when I'm trying out a new exercise, I always just start with no weight whatsoever so that I can get used to the machine and the movement. So with this one, it looks a little weird, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down and you have these two buckle things. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the metal clamp, I don't know if that's what you call it. Yeah, it's and like a gonna, seat buckle. It's like our yeah. seat belt, like on an airplane or something yeah. is what it seems like to me. And then based on like how tight or how loose you want it, you're gonna take the strap and you're gonna tighten it. So I'm gonna tighten mine pretty tight. And you kind of want to leave like just a tiny bit of space because if you tighten it too much, it's going to hurt your hips a lot. And if it does hurt your hips when you start using the weight, I like to just take like a sweater or a t-shirt and stuff it under here. Um, Good advice. Yes. And then after that, so your feet placement. Feet placement for hip, hip thrust is very, very important because you don't want your feet to be too far out, but you don't want them to be too far in either. Obviously, with everyone's different body anatomy, it's going to feel different. So my feet might be more up front than somebody else's and vice mm -hmm. versa. Mm -hmm. But I like to keep mine kind of neutral and shoulder length apart. And I find that when I turn my toes out just slightly, I can feel it in my glutes a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, and you kind of want to keep your, your legs like perpendicular to each other. So this like 90 degree right angle right here. And then you're going to lay back. And this is very, very important. You do not want to throw your head all the way back. I like to keep my chin neutral and looking right in front of me. And you're going to want to squeeze your core and try and keep, try to keep your, um, your back flat right, on the bench. Right. So I'm going to grab these handles here and you're going to squeeze your core, chin neutral, looking forward, and you're going to push the weight up and then unlock the drive like that. And then when it comes to your hands, so let me rack this real quick. When it comes to your, hands pla your hand placement, this machine is kind of awkward because I never know what to do with my There's hands. There's nowhere to put your hands. Yeah. So if you feel more comfortable, you can cross them like this. You can hold the belt here. You can wave them in the air if you want, whatever. But what you don't want to do is thrust the weight up and then keep your hands here to kind of help you push off because then you're not engaging your glutes as much and you're using the weight from your hands to help push you up, which right, is not the goal. Right, good advice. So I'm actually gonna scoot my feet a little bit farther back. Okay. So once again, super, super tight abs. You wanna get your six pack showing. We all got them. Be the strong people that you are. Chin neutral, looking forward, pushing up, unlocking the weight. You can put your hands wherever. I like to put mine here. And you're kind of going to want to act like there's a string pulling down on your, on your booty crack and going down and making kind of like a V here. One thing you don't want to do, though, is this. I see a lot of people arching your back, right, and that's not right. very good for you. Exactly. So that's why we keep our core tight. And then you're going to push up, but pushing through your heels and feeling it in your glutes squeezing at the top. And then you're just going to want to repeat that super slowly to get the feel of the machine. So I'm just going to do a couple, feeling it in my glutes, keeping my chin neutral and my core tight. And then I'll rack it. Perfect. If you need to load weight, what would you do if you, okay. want, you want some weight on your machine? So how do you load weight on there? Yes. For loading weight, you always want to start with a lower weight because form is very important. You never want to ego lift. That's how you get hurt. So I'll just start with super simple tens. So you just take your weight and it's super duper simple. We're just gonna put it over. And I don't really think you need clips for this machine um, unless you're just like crazy and swinging it all around. Right. Maybe you'd want to do that, right. but you shouldn't need clips for this. So you're just gonna rack it on the other side. Nice. And same thing. So you're going to take the buckle and buckle it in. Tighten the strap if you need to, leaving just like a 
tiny bit of room. It's probably too much. Yeah, like thumb space. Shoulder width apart legs, mm -hmm. keeping your feet stuck into the ground. You can point your toes out just a tiny bit. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna lay back. Neutral chin, looking forward, tight core. You're gonna thrust your hips up, squeeze at the top, push the weight forward. But remember, we do not keep our hands here. You can put them here or here. And you're just gonna go down and back up. Right, as easy as that. Down and back up. Okay, show us how to undo that belt. I've seen a couple of girls okay. get trapped because they don't <laughs> know how to unbuckle this. So it's basically exactly like an Super airport easy. or an airplane exactly. buckle. Exactly, that's what you I tell everybody. It's like an airplane, it just, just pick it up. Yeah. I've actually had to rescue a couple of people because <laughs> they were they could not figure out how to unbuckle that. Yeah. Well, thanks, Happened Amalia. Uh, that was very informative. I think anybody who watches this ought to be able to come in here and use the glute drive. Yes. Uh, I'll put a link to your Instagram if you want me to at the bottom of this video. If you Perfect. Like to get some extra followers. Yes. And if you're ever having trouble, always ask. The gym is not intimidating and people are here to help you. That's right. Thank you, Amalia. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next tutorial. <laughs>